What's good then, YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on our channel. I'm the FIFA Analyst. Today, we are talking to you about custom tactics equaling team of the season players in FIFA 22. Team of the season is here, which means that playing foot champs and getting good finishes in champs is going to give you the best possible chance to get those team of the season players in red picks and also in in those team of the season untradeable and tradable packs so we're going to talk to you about formations and tactics that i think are very strong right now and increase those chances of you getting the results that you want in the game apologies for the lack of videos recently we were away doing lots of commentating on ea events which was fantastic and i also got married and went on a little bit of a honeymoon so we're back Appreciate all the kind words and everything. And let's get straight back into it. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to talk to you about the formations, first of all, and then give you kind of tactics that are, I would run with those particular formations. Now, the 4-2-3-1, let's start off with this one. The 4-2-3-1 is, I would say, not as popular this year. I rank it around like fifth on the tier list of formations. The reason being is it's very good to help you see out games, but it is not the strongest in creating chances. It's a very much a formation you can use to have that one or two goal lead and help you see out that game. I used to love this. It's what I always used to play. I don't play this anywhere near as much anymore. I think you guys can use it, but having that one striker really does struggle to create chances on the counter-attack with those one-twos and whatever it may be. If you were wanting to run this, though, as a... I've got a one or two nil lead. I want to be a little bit more defensive. How would I run it? I'd have balance on the defensive style. And I'm going to suggest that for a lot of people here. Having press on heavy touch or press on possession loss just gives you more of a chance to have your players out of position. And if you're a bit mm, uneasy on right six switching, defending in general, that's something that you don't want. Team shape is absolutely crucial. For your width, keep it neutral, around 40 to 50 at most. You can go narrow if you want to. You will give up a lot of wings and crosses are certainly viable right now. For the depth, this is personal preference. Please don't put this all the way down. You just invite long range finesse shots. You invite pressure. It's very hard to play out of this. Go for something neutral. 45 to 60 for most players will be absolutely fine in the 4-2-3-1. If you are wanting to be more aggressive in the press and put pressure on the opponent, running 70 plus can be a very good way to do that build up play i actually contradict myself here and i go long ball and possession even in my 4-2-3-1 and the reason for that is i want originally when i pick up the ball in my own half i want my players to make aggressive runs if i can send the ball in behind i will look for it however if i then get into the final third i want people to show for feet so i've got options on to hold the ball frustrate the opponent and bring the opponent out of position that way and for the width this is what i was running previously on the 4-3-3 i wouldn't recommend that for 4 2 3 one a very neutral width will be good you can even go a little bit wider like 60 just to have that right attack in mid slot in between the right back uh, the left back and that left center back will work a treat players in box i'd recommend going quite low if you are using this as a you know formation to help you see out the game that's what i'd run on my 4 2 3 one and if you're looking at instructions i'd probably go balanced on the strikers and balanced on here if however you are wanting to soak up pressure come back on defense will really really help you do that on the right attacking mid and the left attacking mid for your fullback stay back while attacking have one dm on stay back while attacking cut passing lanes and cover center your more defensive minded DM and then your other DM feel free to have them and just on cover center and cut passing lanes and leave them on balance to allow them to get forward and offer a little bit in those attacking areas so that would be what I would run in my 4231 if you were wanting to use that now the next formation which I think is very much worth talking about is the 442 the 442 for me right now is actually one of the strongest formations on the game. I'd probably rank it number one or number two. I just think it's so balanced. It works really well if you work your way up and down the pitch. So going from right mid to right centre mid, left centre mid to left mid, trying to find the strikers, look for those one twos, look for the crosses. It works so well. And two strikers up front together just works so easily to get one twos over the top three balls. Again, I'd recommend balance for most players. Just take what I said with regards to how you want to have the defensive style. For your width, again, a very neutral one. It's going to be the same here, really, on the width and the depth. Just go with what you feel comfortable with, taking into account that if you want a higher line, you need to be good at right six switching, tracking the through balls, and all of that good stuff. Now, for the 
uh, tactics here on the build-up play and the chance creation. I go balanced and direct passing in my 4-4-2. The direct passing just tells the players to run at the defence. It makes it so easy to get the one-twos and to look for that extra pass off across inside the 18-yard box. So feel free to utilise that. The width, again, I'd keep it around neutral. I wouldn't have this very wide at all, but I do have my players in box on seven because I actually really want my players from the centre mid position to get involved. Now, for our tactics here, I would have one of these on stay forward and get in behind, and then the other one on completely balanced. That just have your like rapid player, the Mbappe or whoever it may be, on staying be uh, getting behind and stay forward, and then the other one, maybe a little bit more technical on the ball on that balance instruction. Right mid and left mid, if you want to do come back on defense, feel free. Personally, I don't do that, but it really does help you in the defensive area and makes the 4-4-2 more, more solid in defense. Again, have one DM on cover center and stay back while attacking and have the other one on balanced and cover center. Fullbacks on this, I would still highly recommend stay back while attacking because it's very difficult to not concede goals if you have them on balanced, essentially. Now, so that's what I'd go for the 4 4 2. That's one of the formations which I think is really, really strong right now. The 4 1 2 1 2 narrow is still very, very viable as well. It does have a few counters and maybe not as popular as that it once was, but feel free to use it if you want to. This is where I would actually be going like press on heavy touch, press on possession loss. I'll be running a high line on depth. This is the formation that I use to really just frustrate the opponent, box them in, win the ball back ping it about, one-touch passing, tick attacker, go, 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 and outscore the opponent. That is how I have this set up. Now, for my width here, I do actually go fairly narrow. I go 40, and then players in box I keep on high, and I just have a high, high depth on this one. Again, I would go direct passing, but I would also add in long ball, looking for those quick counter-attacks. I have both my strikers on getting behind. And then we have the centre attacking mid on balance. This makes this centre attacking mid move into the left mid position when you don't have the ball in defence, so when you're defending. And then you keep this right centre mid on cover wing. If you want to have one of these on, like get into the uh, get into the box or get forward, you can do there. It just helps you a little bit more in that attacking area. But have that left centre mid on cover centre. That way, when you defend, you defend in a four four two. Cut passing lane, stab up while attacking cover center on the CDM. And then if you want these fullbacks on balance, you can do. Most people will do better with a stab up while attacking instruction, though, because obviously they are, uh, it is a very aggressive formation. That's what I run on my 4 1 2 2 narrow, and that works really, really well. Next up, the 4 triple 2. I'm going to give it a talk about. I'm not going to give you tactics for it, though. Uh, I think it's really good. Very similar to the 4 4 2. I prefer the 4 4 2 because I think it's easier to get the left mid and right mid involved. If you want to use it, feel free. Very similar tactics to what we just had with the 4 4 2. Personal preference on what you want from that. I am still playing the 4 3 3 false 9 at the minute. I've been having a lot of success and just enjoyment with it. It's a very good footballing formation. That was one of our previous tactics videos that we did release. Now, the 4 3 2 1. I actually think this is still. Still a very, very solid formation. Uh, I think it's really, really good right now. And it just works so, so well in the attacking sense. This is one of the formations that I actually have with a high depth and balance though. Balance, start passing and 30 width. I'd have this on five players in box instead though. And the whole idea here is to have one of these on comeback on defense to help you come back into those areas and defend better. Again, similar to the 4-4-2, makes it much, much better. And then you can leave one of these on stay. Well, I actually have them all on stay central, sorry. And get in behind. I'll just show you this. Stay central, get in behind. Uh, and leave that one there. Stay central, get in behind, bang. And then what you want to do is you want to have one of these on cover wing, that one on cover center in the middle, stab out while attacking, and then just leave that one on cover center as well. Again, creating that four banks of four. I do actually have one of these on overlap, uh, and it's going to be the one which you have on the left side or the right side that goes in, in line with the comeback on defense, because basically the Dembele will cover for the Ashley Cole. So just pick your more attacking-minded fullback in that area to go forward, and then the other one on stay back while attacking. And that is the 4-3-2-1. I don't use it as much, but I still think it has a very, very good place in FIFA. It's a formation that I used at the start of the year and had a lot of success with. And then the only other ones really that I've been using is the 5-2-1-2. 
and the 352. I don't use them that much myself. The 5212 was made to combat the 352 that Dami was using. For those ones, I'll just link to those videos because I've not long made them and you can just go and watch them. So just click around here on the screen and you'll see the videos for that. For the 5212 and the 352. Those are the formations which I think are very strong right now and worth using and will help you get more results on FIFA 22 foot champs to give you the best possible chance to get those team of the season cards in weekend league. So let me know how you get on with them. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.